Hello, welcome to Greg's Channel 1. I'm Greg, this is Channel 1. Welcome back to the Doctor Who Series 11 reviews. Let's dive right in, let's get some stuff going, and let's talk about The Witch Finders. This is episode... 8? We'll go with 8. Yeah, we'll go with 8. And I have to say... I'm quite enjoying this season. I think this season has been pretty, pretty good. Something that we've always known about the Doctor's TARDIS is it's not very good at getting to where it, the Doctor wants it to go, but takes the Doctor where the Doctor has to be, where the Doctor needs to go. And I have to say, I, I like the fact that Graham brings this other... We're, we're not quite where we thought we were, are we? The Doctor's like, oh yeah, yeah, it's fine. We're not, are we? N nope. It's never been good at locations. And I quite like that. that that's, that's, that's very true. I uh, saw the antagonist for the episode and went, and Noah. It's the woman from Downton Abbey. She seems to be very good at playing the antagonists. Playing antagonistic people is, seems to be a skill of hers. I hope we see her be, be another antagonist in like another story at some point, or somewhere along the line. Uh, Graham as usual, absolutely love Graham. I think Bradley Walsh is the best companion that Jodie's Doctor could have needed, because Graham, Graham's human. Graham is probably the most compassionate out of the three. And he seems to really be enjoying his time in with the Doctor. And I like that. Uh, all the characters got to do, you know, a little bit in peace. Um, you had Graham trying to obviously convince uh, Becca that it was, a, it was not a good idea to go and kill the entire village. You had Yaz uh, off to uh, Willa. Willa? We're going to say Willa because I think that's how it's pronounced. That's how my brain is telling me it's pronounced. So uh, Yaz went off to Willa to try and make a, you know, try and console her for the fact that she just lost her gran, etc, etc. And we had Ryan trying to make friends with King James the First. Loved it. Absolutely love that. Love it. Um, one thing I do love is the fact that um, the Doctor is there giving a speech of... We do not get involved, no matter what happens. We can't get involved. We have to be good. We have to be good. First sign of trouble. Doctor gets involved. It's so much for not getting involved, Doc. Well done. Again. And she's there kind of like, yeah, we, well, we kind of had to, right? Ah, <sighs> fine. And I love the, f I, I love the fact that uh, King James I was an absolute ass. But he was an ass in a very f funny and humorous way. He was an ass in the way that he spoke to people because of the fact that it fitted with his time and the time period in general. And I loved it. I hope we see King James the First again at some point. You know, have him bump into the Doctor again. He's like, "You, why are you so sane?" or something like that. And she's like. Yeah, it's me again. Hello. Um, I have to say something that I did quite like is the idea of death by patronization. The way that Jodie's like, you know, if he wasn't going to get me killed, yeah, you know, by dunking me and drowning me, I'd have been patronized to death. And he's like, yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty funny. Uh, Jodie Whittaker, as usual, absolute. Oh, she's a gem. Absolute lover. More Jodie, please. Thank you. Um, yeah, J J James the First is absolutely bloody mad. Bloody, bloody mad, I tell you. I'm alright with it. I think Graham is probably by far the best companion out of the three. And I think it's the perfect one for Jodie. I think Jodie needed someone like a Graham to really just make it feel fun make it feel 
because for him it feels like it's it, every single episode feels like it could be his last journey and I love it um, I love the fact that uh, Graham you know got to really show how well he connects with his team with the team team pilot is going out on their own and actually doing investigating whilst the doctor is being taken hostage is that ah yeah. Whoops. And I thought the Doctor being quite a strong negotiator. Although, theoretically, going, you know, with a Sonic and everything, and obviously her being a Doctor, and them accusing her of being a witch, theoretically she could have been seen as a witch Doctor. Oh, come on, that's funny. Yeah? Ah. Uh, telling jokes to myself. And to you guys, ho ho hopefully you laughed. If not, I apologise. Kinda, I think. Anyway, back on topic before we go on off to Tangent City. The evil tentacle thing, and then I have to say, uh, I laughed at the innuendo that, that uh, Jodie made. And the way that she said it almost seemed like she didn't quite understand the innuendo she was making. Because uh, obviously she was explaining how uh, the Morax uh, fill their host. And obviously they're reaching out for her. She goes, you're not filling me. It's like, giggle, giggle. Yeah, I, I don't care. It made me giggle. Um, yeah. And then obviously, the I, I thought, you know, King James' first conversation with the Doctor when she's you know, held up, and, you know, she's trying to get through to him. And you're seeing that it's getting there. She's getting there with him. She's getting there with him, and he's, it seems like he's going to be on her side. And then, obviously, he doesn't. And then he does, right at the bloody end. And, obviously, she survives. They defeat the creatures. End of the episode. And then go into the box, and bye-bye. Must say... A pretty good episode. It was pretty cool. It was quite fun. I enjoyed myself. Um, I enjoyed it. I think... I don't think it's my favourite episode so far. And my favourite episode so far has been Dem The Demons of Punjab. I think that is the episode that I've enjoyed the most. And I think it's by far the best so far. But this one was damn good. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, I hope you're enjoying Doctor Who. Let, let me know what you think. Let me know what you're thinking of Doctor Who, what you think of Jodie, etc., etc., blah, 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 blah. You know, do the thing, and the other thing, and the other thing, and the other thing. Anyway, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.